Safi another great time tuna connect hapa double updates mtazamaji wangu mimi naitwa Mr Double J kama kawaida hii hapa ni ulimwengu wa siasa ni semi asante kwa wote ambao siku zote wanafuatilia double updates lakini kwa wale ambao tunakutana kwa mara ya kwanza mimi nawaomba kitu kimoja tu mjiunge na familia ni rahisi kabisa unachotakiwa kufanya ni kusubscribe tu alafu mengine yatafuata huwa ninasema ukisubscribe au utakuwa umejishindia au utakuwa umejipa nafasi fulani poa na nzuri ya kuendelea kupata taarifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati lakini pia hapa chini kwenye sehemu ya comments naomba tuitumie vizuri niachie bendera ya nchi yako kwa mfano kama uko Germany Unaniambia tu bwana niko hapa Germany lakini kama itawezekana unaniachia bendera ya Germany alafu kila kitu kinakaa vizuri Switzerland hata Kenya jamani usiogope eh si kabisa ndio nchi yetu sasa tutafanyaje <laughs> Inabidi tuikubali kubali sasa mimi nataka nianze hapa kwa comment fulani dakika chache tu mtazamaji wangu kwenye screen yako All these arms must function together and I repeat in harmony one parliament two executive three judiciary four Raila Molo Odinga tunafahamu kuna tatu tu <laughs> tuna parliament kuna executive kuna judiciary lakini ya hii ya nne uh, ya Wilson <laughs> ndio inakuwa tofauti sasa hii inakuwa ni ya Raila Molo Odinga first of all nataka tuimalizie Raila Odinga anawekwa kwenye list kwa sababu ni miongoni mwa watu ambao hata sio watu miongoni mwa viongozi ambao wana control sehemu kubwa kabisa ya nchi wana sauti fulani unanielewa yani hata kama watamwasiu na nini o oh, sio mtu na nini lakini ana control idadi kubwa kabisa ya wananchi wa Kenya mtazamaji wangu kwa mfano jana nadhani uh, watu mliona kitu ambacho kilitokea baada ya kuzuiliwa kutoka Serena ikawa na uh, pigwa tia gas pigwa maji pale na nini mambo yakawa mengi zaidi lakini mwisho siku alitoboa Unaona yeye katumia roots zote ambazo anaweza katumia ili afikie watu wake ili azungumze na watu wake. Aim ilikuwa ni kupata wale watu azungumze nao lakini pia aim ya Raila Odinga ilikuwa ni rais mwenyewe William Samoei Ruto aone uzito wake. Unanielewa unajua uzito wa Raila sio kuongea tu. Uzito wa Raila siku zote inaonekana kwa watu. Yaani watu kabisa yani kupitia watu ndio mtu anaweza ka tell like ah huyu Raila Odinga kumbe ni mzito kiasi hicho and tazama kitu ambacho alikifanya watu mati kabisa watu hata baada ya kufukuzwa kupigwa na nini wengine kuuawa lakini kuna wengine ambao bado walisubiri la hilo dinga mpaka saa kumi za jioni saa kumi na moja saa kumi na moja na nusu mpaka akazungumza mpaka mnaona umati kabisa wanaimba kweli kweli Ruto must go kwa hiyo kwenye list hii jamaa mimi simpingi kwa sababu kama ana sauti kama anaweza ka control uh, kiasi kikubwa hivyo Unaona hii idadi kubwa ya watu then ana deserve kupata ile respect ambayo uh, watu wengi hawaoni. Now, nataka tuzungumzie hapa Mr. Soprano. Soprano anasema the National Police Service has done our country proud. Kenya must end impunity and apply one constitution and one set of laws for everyone for enduring peace and stability of our nation. Asa kindiki ni mtu ambaye anataka hapa kutuonyesha kwamba wao ndo wanajua kupanga vitu. Cha kwanza Bandits kabisa ndo walitakiwa kupewa hiyo force ambayo walipewa uh, wafuasi wa Raila Odinga town. Hicho ni cha kwanza. Kwa sababu hauwezi ukawa wewe unaweza ukashambulia wananchi alafu unajigamba. Alafu watu ambao unatakiwa kabisa kuwashambulia ambao ni bandits wanakulemea mpaka wewe mwenyewe wanakumalizia maafisa. Alafu unakuja kujigamba namna ambavyo yani hata ana hata aibu. <laughs> Kindeki hata ana aibu hawezi akaona like anajigamba eti polisi eh, wamezuia wamezuia mwananchi au wamezuia wananchi kufanya kitu ambacho wanatakiwa kufanya. Yaani ile force nzima kama wangekuwa wanapelekea bandits ingekuwa sawa. Sasa wewe unajigamba una, una kwa sababu ya force ambayo ulipewa wananchi ambao hata hawajui hawajui chochote. Kitu ambacho wanaweza wakajua ni kuchukua mawe na kupiga polisi. Hiyo tu ndio kitu ambacho wanaweza wakafanya kwenye vita ambayo ilitokea siku ya jana. Sasa wao umewapea bunduki, umewapea rungu, umewapea magari, umewapea eh, eh, kofia, umewapea bulletproof mwapea kila kitu alafu unataka kujigamba eti wameshinda wananchi. <laughs> yani yani sometimes Kindiki bwana unatushangaza sana eh. Sasa mimi nataka nikuchanue mtazamaji wangu. Kindiki anasema hivyo nao. Sikiza hii. The reports questioned whether the use of lethal force by the National Police Service NPS in Kenya was a question of whether the action were uh, proportionate to the levels of violence and the danger inherent in police work. Hapa chini In short Kenya's police ranked worse than Mexico. 
hiyo ni report sasa kindiki anakuja kutuambia namna ambavyo national police service wameiva yani wameiva kupigana na <laughs> kindiki apeleke hiyo sauti yake ndogo huko yani anatupimaga akili sana yani imagine kindiki anajipiga kifua eti polisi wameangaisha wananchi jipige kifua polisi ameangaisha bandits hapo nitakupa tika hata kama sikupendi yes sikupendi ehe kindiki sikupendi lakini tutasema ah sawa at least amejaribu hapo kama bandits ndio ungekuwa unasimama leo kusema kwamba polisi wamfanya kazi nzuri ah hiyo sawa unadhani na kudanganya acha nikupe taarifa hapa si kabisa baada ya nani bandits kill two more in fresh attacks in baringo west pokot kwa nini asiende angalie huko wana focus na watu ambao wako town kabisa This thing was very simple. Polisi walitakiwa kulinda maduka ya watu in case kuna watu ambao wanataka kuitumia shughuli hii ambayo ilitokea siku ya jana vibaya. Unajua kuna watu wengine ambao uh, wangesema kwamba ah, oyo kwa sababu watu wanaandamana andamana hapa inabisa tuitumie nafasi vizuri. Tukipata duka fulani tunavunja, tunaingia ndani, tunachukua, tunafanya nini na vitu kama hivyo. You understand? But sasa polisi waliacha hiyo kazi wakaamua sasa kupambana na watu ambao wanafanya nini? Eh, wana wana, wana wana demonstrate. Sasa huu mwanamke ikawa anasema kitu hapa eti eti anaitwa Millicent Omanga. Sikiza, no single day will Raila and his looters access CBD in the name of demonstration. Soon he will not even access our residential estates. <laughs> Sasa nataka niwaambie kitu kimoja. Nyinyi ndio mtaumia zaidi, sio Raila Odinga. In fact, hii ndio serikali ambayo itaumia zaidi. Nataka nikwambie ni kwa sababu gani. Iwapo watamzuia Raila kukutana na wananchi tuseme CBD town ama kwenye estate season ndani ndani hizo in fact hata ajui estate ni nini huko kindani ndani huko you understand wao ndo watakao napoteza zaidi kwa sababu Raila naye hata choka na kwa sababu Raila hata choka watu bado wanamsikiliza watu bado watajitokeza kufanya nini kusumbua hawa maafisa wa polisi unanielewa hakuna kitu ambacho kitaendelea yani drama itakuwa inaendelea hivi usiku jioni usiku jioni drama itakuwa inaendelea trust me watu hawata move watu hawataenda kazi and the more wanaendelea kuweka force the more wanaendelea kupoteza muda the more vitu vinaendelea kuharibika sasa kwa mfano nataka nikwambie kitu kimoja mtazamaji wangu sasa hivi uh, inchi za nje na viongozi wa nje washapiga marufuku watu wao kusafiri kuja Kenya kwa sababu ya kitu ambacho kilitokea jana sasa jana nataka uangalie tuanze hata na Jomo Kenyatta International Airport hata na Wilson nataka uniambie ni biashara ngapi ziliharibika yes tuongee ukweli biashara ngapi ziliharibika tuanze tu na kwenye kwenye usafiri wa ndege yes ni watu ngapi wali cancel flights hawakuji na walitakiwa kukuja tuangalie tu upande wa transport tu peke yake hiyo ni ya kwanza airport hakuna movement ambayo ilikuwa Yaani pipa hata ikienda inaenda bila watu. Inarudi bila watu hiyo ni hasara kubwa sana. Haya, usafiri wa kwenye barabara. Watu hawakuenda kazi ujue. Yes, kwa sababu watu wengi CBD ndio sema ambapo watu wana connect. Lakini watu wengi hawakuenda kazi kwa sababu haungefaulu kufika. Kuna watu wali, walilala mpaka kwa marafiki zao. Hawakuenda kazi kuna wengine mpaka walilala kwenye ofisi. Hawakuenda wapi? Hawakuenda ama nyumbani kwao so transport tayari ya barabara tunaanza huku ile airport tayari isharibika ya barabara tayari isharibika watu hawaendi kazi wale wananchi kutoka nje ambao wanakuta kuja kufanya biashara hapa kwetu plus 254 hawajasafiri sasa wewe uko hapa unajigamba eti Raila Sun atutakubali amtakubali na nyindo mnaendelea kuumia si ni vitu vinaendelea kusimama nani watalaumiwa serikali itafika point mpaka wananchi wataanza kuambia no point ambayo mmefika inabidi mtafuteni Raila muongelesheni Muulizeni ni nini anataka? Kama ni IBC basi kila mtu ahusishwe maisha iendelee. Kama ni server basi ifunguliwe tu confirm vitu viendelee mbele. Lakini kama mnataka kujingama kwenye vitu ambavyo viezi, Kindiki sasa anajigamba eti polisi. Polisi alafu you are rank the worst. Polisi wa Kenya in fact, polisi sometimes waga anashinda kabisa kuwaelewa. Polisi Kenya, Kenya ndo inchi pekee kwa dunia ambao mimi najua. Sijui zingine lakini najua Kenya ndo inchi pekee ambao polisi wanafanya wanachoambiwa hawafanyi kitu ambacho wanatakiwa kufanya. Polisi hatakiwi kufanya kitu ambacho wanaambiwa. Kwa sababu hizi ni independent bodies. Wanajua kazi yao, si kwamba wana, sio watoto. Waambie nende mkafanye hivi. Imagine kitu ambacho walikuwa wanafanya ni kitu ambacho walikuwa wameambiwa fanyeni hivi na fanyeni hivi. Msikubali hivi, msikubali hivi. Cha ajabu ni mpaka viongozi wakubwa kwenye serikali wanawambia kitu ambacho wanatakiwa kufanya. 
mnakumbuka vizuri kabisa Ruto mwenyewe Asha kusema msitumie vibaya sio msitumie vibaya sasa hivi ndio kabisa anawatumia vibaya afu anasema yeye ye ni mchamungu yeye yeah, hawezi akafanya alivyokuwa anafanya na nio huru Kenyata na vitu kama hivyo yeye yeah, ndo sasa anaifanya more than alivyokuwa anafanya huru Kenyata polisi wa Kenya are the worst ukweli tuseme wewe oh, unapiga mtu risasi sasa unampigia risasi kitu gani mtu yupo tu nani barabara kabisa anasema no hii sio poa unapiga mtu risasi yola. oh unapiga mtu risasi unajua nani kina nani wanamtegemea unajua sasa hivi tunapozungumza ni watu ngapi uh, watu ngapi kabisa wanalia kwa sababu umeua mtu ambaye hata ana hatia kabisa acheni kupigana na wananchi polisi acheni kupigana na wananchi ruto gashago pamoja na kina msalem davadi they know what they should do wanajua vizuri kabisa kitu ambacho wanatakiwa kufanya watu wanaendelea kuumia hapa biashara zitaendelea wakati wanajua vizuri wakimtafuta Raila wamuulize ni nini brother ni, ni, ni kitu kipi mzee tunafanyaje alafu hivi vitu viko wazi tu mbona sava fungua tunamalizana nayo hii ABC tupange sisi wote tumalizane nao Kenya tunde peace nilifurahia sana huyu Kenya alipokutana na Raila kwa sababu ni peace peace inchi endelee mbele peace wao wanataka kuonyesha kifua. Unaonyesha kifua watu wanaendelea kuumia. Unaonyesha kifua inchi inakosa kusonga mbele. Biashara zitasimama. Watu ambao wana... Wacha nikusomee kama unadhani na kudanganya mzamaji wangu. The major business partners of Kenya that's, uh, that's United States of America, United Kingdom and other big countries in the world have issued travel warning and restrictions to their citizens. They have warned that due to the current political tension and instability, Kenya is not a safe country to visit hence their citizens should take caution and cancel all their pl uh, travel plans uh, or plans to Kenya especially to the capital city of Nairobi and Kisumu. Kenya has started experiencing consequences of chaotic demonstrations which happened yesterday causing a standoff across the country after United States of America, USA, United Kingdom, UK and other countries in the world starts issues uh, uh, travel restrictions to Kenya to their citizens. Asa nikuulize ndugu yangu, nani anaumia? Ah! Sawa, nani anaumia? Nyinyi mnajigamba namna ambavyo Raila ataki. The reason why Ruto hana viongozi kabisa kwenye hata cabinet PS na CS ni hii hapa. Hawataki kuona inchi inadidimia. No. Unajua since wao wana mishahara, wana kila kitu, yani everything kwao ina, ina, ina flow vizuri, hawajali kitu kingine ambacho labda kinaweza kikatokea. <laughs> Mimi bwana, hawa watu, hawa watu inabidi wa style up. I don't know maoni yako ni gani? Tupi hapa chini kwenye sehemu ya comments na subscribe kwa ajili ya kuendelea kupata taarifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati bye bye